Hi everybody. Um, so my name is Mamta. Uh, I guess most of you guys, whoever is watching all the time, know knows that. Uh, I am trying to share a story about myself. Uh, uh, what I kind of uh, had an experience with some, uh, you know, facial uh, beauty thingy. That's why I'm kind of nervous and afraid of uh, beauty pro all beauty products and. I kind of am afraid to put too much makeup or makeup and all these things. I am terrified of all that. I uh, had a funny experience, uh, not just once, actually two times with different thingies. Uh, the first one, I, I thought I would tell you guys about in a different video. Uh, the second, the second which happened in America, I'll tell you guys later on, I think in a different video. Uh, right now, this the first one I'm going to tell you guys is the one I had experienced in India. Uh, my elder brother was getting matted and uh, I think I, I got a pimple or something some somewhere and I went ahead and purchased or bought this uh, cream you know and it was like a, you know it was a beautiful um, package thing you know it, the cream looked beautiful the package looked so pretty and very feminine you know like how the beauty products packaging looks like so this was like a cream, you know, pure white cream and I put it all over my face thinking it would enhance or make my skin a little better because I think there was like a pimple or somewhere on the face and uh, was making me feel and uh, plus I have freckles growing up me and my twin sister we both had freckles so I thought it would um, it would hopefully uh, make my freckles go away because initially growing up um, especially in India with the heat you know with the Sun the freckles were very from you know they showed a lot you know they they showed and um, so I was like well how do I get rid of the freckly thingy so um, I was like okay well uh, so I went ahead and put it all over you know all over the face here and here and all you know uh, and the weird thing is the whole face uh, not just here and here but all here and all became all red red shot like uh, it I don't know it just looked weird red uh, I don't know how to put uh, the finger on how what kind of red but it just was a funny weird red which is very visible and um, it, it there was a light burn on the skin initially but no other problem except that it looked by just by the look it looked funny now the silly thing out of the whole thing was that my eldest brother right now he's passed away but he he and my sister-in-law both were getting married and obviously I am one of the sisters so I had to be at the wedding and uh, so uh, you obviously I was excited because this was like a first uh, you know I was like so happy that we will have a you know a, a sister-in-law in the house a new family member in the house so uh, me and my younger brother were like so happy like giddy you know crazy with giddiness you know uh, anyway so then uh, I applied this thing and it would all ma made it red then I went to my mom and I told her what I did I bought this cream mom and I put it on my face and all this has become red and now it won't go away the weird thing is for days and days this would not go away the redness would not go away and I don't know if it was doing any damage or not but it just looked funny to me normally I would not care uh, if I wouldn't have to you know go at a wedding or something but this was a family wedding like the wedding was you know my brother our family member was getting married so obviously I had to go and I had to look at least ha halfway presentable agreed how you know it was not my wedding but still I had to look presentable as a family member uh, plus it was an exciting thing you know in everybody's house if a family member is getting married it's the you know it's the most amazing thing you know the feeling is amazing so I really wanted to enjoy this also the wedding thing you know being part of the wedding uh, and I was supposed to be the Lungori. Lungori is something where we, t we have to have this uh, steel 
a uh, 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 loti, uh, 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 a small pot made, you know, made with a vessel, you know, with the steel, and there's like uh, some things put in it, like mung beans and uh, betel nut and all these things, a few coins and all that, and then you shake it, shake it, and you're supposed to rub, you're supposed to rub on your brother's back all through from the time you leave the house, you. You're supposed to put a full har mada, you know, and give a coconut in your the brother's hand or the would be groom's hand, and put a mala, you know, flower garland and all. And uh, so I was like all excited to be part of the, you know, part of the wedding. Uh, it's like being a bridesmaid, you know. So it's kind of like that. You're part of the procedure, whatever happens, right, from the time you leave your family house to the location where the wedding happens so till the groom and you know the groom and bride is married and then even in that in our culture uh, the 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 brother sister has to sit in the car with the groom and bride. I know it's kind of crazy funny um, culture thing for the wedding but that's so I thought I had to be all around there. So how will I deal with the thingy? So then I went ahead and talked to my mother. What should I do? And she's like, oh my God. She's like, what did you... She was like, she freaked out. She's like... Because she knows how she has raised us. That we were not into makeup. My twin sister though. She was just the opposite of me. She loved makeup and beauty products. And I was just the opposite. Never liked any of those things to begin with. So maybe I should have left it alone. The freckles thing, you know, more than the pimple thing, the freckles thing was em embarrassing for me in those days. And now I think it's very cute and uh, very pretty. But growing up in India, I didn't, re although I saw a lot of Western people having a lot of freckles, you know, people who visited India, I used to see them and I used to think they are so cute. But on myself, it looked weird to me at that time. I In my head, it, seemed funny to me like not funny but like funny in a way like it was weird I don't know if I want this kind of thingy anyway so then this thing it all the redness it, it was red all over here here everywhere it was red so then when I spoke to my mom about it she's like well now we have to go see a doctor so we went to our family doctor and um you know his name is Do his he's passed away now it's been many years i guess because the last time i was in india i found out he's passed away and it's sad because he's a very nice do family doctor he was really a nice guy and his family lived like a lane over and he had like a son and a daughter and they would come with their bottled water and give it to him and all that so that's nice anyway so he was a good family doctor and he he had certain hours he would work there so uh, my m mom made an appointment and we went and saw him and then the doctor he said in a very he, that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about that his he was a funny doctor uh, and I have another second video coming about him like how funny how crazy funny he was uh, you know and he was uh, he was the one from the time we were like babies he is like like even uh, seven eight nine ten years old from there to the time i was uh you know most probably like uh um 20 years old or so he was our do family doctor so for from all these years he was there for any health uh, any uh things happen to us like health wise to any of our family members like one time my father had fainted in the in his dispensary actually waiting on him for his number to be called and my father had fainted and fallen down and he had a um, uh, gastro something whatever you call it the, you know like I think my father had eaten outside uh, some vada you know like a sabudana vada you know but maybe it was not cleaned or whatever or chutney maybe the chutney with the sabudana vada was bad and father got like a gastrointestinal disease or whatever uh and he had to be hospitalized and all and then he he got better and all anyway my father has passed away now but that that was his story uh, related to the, the dr dubey 
but then so when we went when my mom and i went to dr dubey we mentioned to him about the thingy and the first thing he asked is like oh did, he's like why did you put this and i was like oh because i had the freckles and i thought maybe maybe there is a small pimple and the wedding was coming up and i didn't want to look funny you know i didn't want to look weird or whatever and i was like my mom always encouraged us not to use any chemicals or in fact she wouldn't even like allow us to even look at the mirror i know it's kind of crazy but that's and she in in our culture way she would say tamnej tamari nazar lagi jaise means uh you will only put nazar you will only bring good luck bad luck to your own self if you uh you know she she felt that you yourself will uh, i don't know how to put it but basically you'll bring bad luck to yourself because you might admire yourself thinking you're so pretty and so not all our lives we were not allowed to look at the mirror i know and we are supposed to put a dot right in the center and all growing up years they did not want us to look at the mirror especially my mother nor did she want us to put lipstick on no makeup on nothing that's how strict my mom was anyway well she's passed away but that's how strict it was and even my brothers were strict about that no 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 sisters can uh, sisters cannot put lipstick and makeup there's no way you, you know they did not want us wearing skirts they did not wear want us you know you know putting any lipstick or makeup none of that we would sneak and do some stuff like uh, put the lipstick and makeup thing because my twin sister was very much into all that like even the waxing and all that well, i'll i'll go over that story some other time but this is what i wanted to share about so the dr dubey said so so I, he asked me right flat he said how why would you do all this and i i just explained to him because the wedding was coming up and i didn't want the freckles on my face and i was embarrassed with all the freckles on my face all my cheeks had freckles and they become stronger in the sun and i was kind of embar- weirded out by that and i wanted the freckles to go away and maybe a little pimple up here so he's one thing he said right straight away is are you a buffalo and i was like or are you a horse or are you a lion or a tiger you know he's like why would you you know a bear and i'm like N- why would he ask me these kind of weird questions and i'm thinking to myself in my head like who would ask i'm gone with a problem to you and you're asking me if i am a cattle like you know like you know like a lamb or sheep or a cow or a buffalo he's like this this cream is for animals he's like you should at least read the thingy i said i asked the farm you know i took it from the farm i bought it from the pharmacy why do why do i need to <laughs> wouldn't he be selling for humans and not for animals <laughs> so that's like a funny story you know that was like a weird experience growing up and at the, i 